everybody, my name is Paul and this is going to be the first installation of the homemade camper video. Um, I'm going to be documenting everything that it takes to build a camper for yourself. I'm doing this in my garage in my apartment complex, so I don't have that much space to work with. As you can see, I have to build something that clears the garage we have. So what I went ahead and did is I ran down to Harbor Freight last night during Black Friday and I picked up, came in two boxes, the 1,790 pound trailer, I believe. Let's see if they say what it was. It has a VIN number and everything. I blocked this out if I think anything was blocked out. Yeah, 1,720 pounds, four feet by eight feet folding trailer. Unfortunately, they were all out of the non-folding one, but it's a heavy duty. It was $3.99, so uh, I thought it'd be a good base. The only problem is the wheels are only recommended for 55 miles per hour. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and probably get bigger wheels from, uh, there's a movie theater and right there's Menards. And then on this side, right around these garages, the first building is a Lowe's. So everything by me is pretty set up. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and probably switch the bearings out to something that can go a little faster. Um, up blown apart and probably get bigger wheels right now we're just going to get something small so that I can get out of the clearing of this garage like i said uh, i may end up putting it once it's finished on the dollies and there's a few more in my actual apartment complex and we'll wheel it out otherwise um i think we're a little restricted by the height of this but i'm six feet and i go to about here so it's probably a seven foot opening Seven, yeah, seven feet maybe. So it may have to crawl, but uh, you'll definitely be able to walk around on it. So step one is going to be building together this Harbor Freight trailer. Um, I'll probably put together everything, including the wheels for now, and then go ahead and switch it later. Um, it's four feet wide, and I want it to be something that's maybe six feet. So I'm not going to put on these wheel covers that the arch is over. Um, because I'll make my own, those will turn the benches or some sort of cabinet. These leaves are, like I said, 17, 20, or 90 or something. Um, and I'm doing this with only the tools I brought to college with me. So we got the saw. I have a circular, uh, yeah, circular saw, a reciprocating saw, sander, I have one light. Um, it's all basic tools, measuring stuff inside my car too. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is put together this frame. I'll probably keep it red for now, but I may bedline it in the future, but it's powder coated, so it's pretty durable. They don't really have great instructions they've read online, so hopefully it takes less than four hours, but we'll put that on for sure. Those are, it's all bolt together, so it's nice, and we're gonna figure out a way to make it not fold so it can just stay. And then over here, it just gives you, um, let's see, tail light, tail light, I'm not sure if this is a running light or a turn signal. Either way, I'm going to be using my own. I'll probably use these just to save money. Um, and then I'm assuming these are to pop out for these two, but we'll make our own brackets eventually. And then you have all your wire to run everything. And I may use some of this, but for the most part, I'm going to be using my own wiring. You have all your wiring necessities and then a license plate bracket, I believe. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, probably not going to put that on right now either. But uh, I have a drawing which I'll put on probably after or before this instruction, and then I'll get back to you guys as soon as this is built.